Hi, in this video I want to show you how to connect MATLAB to console using live link for MATLAB. I have prepared one example which I will first explain that example and then I show you how to implement it from MATLAB. So the example is a 2D electrostatic. We have a rectangle with a size of 1 meter and 3 meters. In the center of the rectangle we have a circle with a radius of R which R is variable and we apply one volt to the perimeter of this circle and ground to the sides of the rectangle. Now, as a side note, we know that um, the 2D model, so this rectangle in reality is actually a box which is extended in Z direction. And this circle is actually a cylinder which is very long in Z direction. Okay. So because we have the voltage on the perimeter of this circle and we have ground here, obviously we will have electric field inside this space and we can see because the this boundary is closer to the ground so the electric field at this region will be higher and the same is true for the electric field on the perimeter of this circle so the electric field at these two regions will be higher than the other parts now if i change the radius of the circle for example now it's bigger obviously because this boundary is closer to the ground the electric field here will be even higher than before the electric field in these two regions and also the electric field on the perimeter of the circle at this region will be higher now the question is the term on maximum r for which the maximum electric field on the perimeter of this circle is less than 5 volt per meter so the idea is that we want to implement this model in matlab and there in matlab we change the value of r and the model will be created we send that model to the console server and basically use console to, to calculate electric field and then we extract the electric field on the perimeter of the circle and we bring it to MATLAB, we compare it with this threshold if the maximum electric field is less than this threshold then we can increase R and then do this process again and again until we find the maximum value of R now obviously this simple model we can also do it directly in console for example by doing a parametric sweep but uh, in many situations you will face with problems that are very complicated for example you want to do complex optimizations in that case you really want to make your model from matlab and control your model from matlab because then you can use all the available tools in matlab to analyze your problem more efficiently now obviously to create a console model in matlab you need to know all the commands that are necessary to create geometry, mesh, boundaries, and selecting the physics, running the simulation, and evaluating the parameters. But probably most of you do not know those commands. The way to get access to those commands, to learn about them, is to look at the documents, um, the guide that is available in LiveLink for MATLAB uh, documentation. Those files are available in this directory. So you can look at the console installation folder in your computer which is basically this one console multiphysics and then document pdf and then within this live link for matlab you have two two documents which basically there are a number of examples in these documents which you can look at them and see which commands are necessary to create each part of the model but obviously this is very complicated so what what i'm going to do today is kind of reverse engineering so first i will create one of these models in console itself and uh, then I will save that model as M file. And when we look at the M file, we will see all the necessary commands that are needed to create, for example, mesh, geometry, everything. So then we borrow most of those commands from the M file, and maybe we, we add a few more lines to, to adapt it to exactly what we want. In that way, we can save a lot of time, um, but still we have the model in MATLAB and it will be functional uh, as we want. Okay, so now I'm going to build the model in console and save the model as M file.
you shall notice that whatever action that we do during construction of this model will be reflected in um, in the M file. For example, now I, I am creating a circle. Um, if I create another object here and delete that object, uh, when we save the M file, all these actions will be there. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you. So, okay, for the circle, I want to introduce a parameter here, R. Let's say the material everywhere is like young. The boundary conditions we have ground and we have voltage for the so for mesh I will select extremely fine mesh in this case then I compute Now this is the voltage distribution. I can plot also the field distribution. This is the surface plot. We do not need this, but I just want to demonstrate it. So this is the field distribution. As I explained, at these regions we have higher electric field. But now I want to plot the electric field on the surface of um, on the perimeter of the circle. So in that case, from data set, I will create a edge data set. And then here we can actually select the, the data set and then from electrostatic we select the electric field. Now you see that here the, the because the mesh is not very good, we have some um, the, the the curve is not very smooth. So I'm going to improve the mesh. But before that I'm going to add another geometry, just a square for example somewhere, and I built this square which appeared here. And now I'm going to delete this square. Basically, we will see that this square will appear in the M file, so you should not be confused with that. Um, then in the mesh setting, I just want to improve the mesh, so I add an edge. And then I select this one. I add uh, maybe a size for the mesh. And then the size, let's say, put it this much, maybe that is too small, yeah, and then I add, yes, I think now if I run the simulation, it will be more smooth. Okay, so if you look at the graph right now, you see that we have a very smooth graph and I'm satisfied with it. One thing to notice is that the maximum electric field here is around 2.46 volt per meter. But if you look at the surface plot, we see that the maximum electric field is something like 4.8, 4.9 volt per meter. If I zoom in on that region and I click on top of the boundary, we see that the electric field is 4.9, or maybe even if I, if I zoom in a bit more, maybe it's more 4.92 volt per meter. This value of 4.92 is actually double than the value that we have here. Uh, so the reason is whenever we evaluate a parameter on, on an interface, basically that, that parameter would be average of the parameter on the both sides of the interface. Now in this case, because we have one volt on this perimeter of the circle, um, so inside the circle we have zero electric field. So 0 plus the electric field on the outside region divided by 2 would be the value that we see on the interface. And that's why the value on the interface is actually half of the value right above the interface because inside the circle, the electric field is 0. So the, the real value that we are interested in is not actually this one because we are interested in electric field in the, in the space outside um, the circle, right, right above the circle. So I have to calculate to multiply these electric field. Okay, so now the model that I have is complete. I'm going to save this model as M file and also as COMSO file. And then we continue. So I renamed this as test one as COMSO file. And I also save it as 
m file here as MATLAB file. Okay, so this is end of part one of this video. In the next video, I will open the M file and I will show you how to create this model from MATLAB using that M file. And also we'll look at the commands that are inside the M file and we'll use it to create our, our own model. Okay, bye.